Hello, I am Jenny McKenna with McKenna Property Management. Today is October 30th, 2019, the day before Halloween. And we are here at 5821 Starfish Bay, and we are gonna be doing this walkthrough from the eyes of what we need to do from a rental perspective. So I know that you've gotten an inspection report. That inspection report is something that you will deal with separately. I am looking at everything cosmetically, things that need to be done in order to enhance the rental value, to get it on the market and for us to find a great tenant. The first thing I'm gonna point out is there are some, just the paint itself is worn out along the edges of the garage door on the two car and the third car. So I've asked John if he would put on his bid that he would actually scrape that and paint that off, same color, but to just freshen it up so that it doesn't look um, weather worn. The front yard landscaping is desert. There are a few things that is no longer surviving. We don't care about that. When we do the one time cleanup, anything that's on the rocks will get taken care of. We love this palm tree because it will never die. There's nothing it should be affecting because it's got plenty of space to grow. So we like that. Desert easy maintenance landscaping. These are incredible rose bushes. So I don't think we want to trim those back right now because they are all blooming. This is going to be gorgeous. Um, but there is going to be a little bit of maintenance done every time a tenant moves out. We are going to need to make sure that this gets trimmed back, that those get trimmed a little bit, and just kind of an overall once, kind of a one-time cleanup every time the tenant vacates. As we go into the property, it is Halloween, so that's why we're walking through a scary area here. Um, you may not be able to see it in the video now because of what we've got uh, with the black panel. This front door isn't popping. It's not fresh looking. It looks pretty worn out. So we're gonna have John put a coat of fresh paint on this door so that the curb appeal and the initial first impression is incredible. So as we come through here, there's a cute little donkey that meets us. He does not stay with the house, though we do think he's pretty great. You're welcome. Come on in, stay there. So the biggest thing about this property is it is unique on the wall colors. And normally I would say tone them all down, let's just get back to a neutral basis. But right now, um, especially with the millennials, they like wall color. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that there's nothing in these wall colors that's gonna be too overdone or too crazy. Let's leave them since they're in really good shape. We will need to do some touch up on them, so there's gonna be a cost a little bit for that. And then we're gonna to need to do a nice fresh coat on the baseboards. So the baseboards are where they have taken the biggest hit. They are upgraded baseboards and we need to make them pop. So we're gonna have baseboards, door frames, and interior doors all painted. That way the wall color um, and then the actual upgrades to the baseboards and the doors are all just look really fresh and clean. So right now we've got a laminate that's right here that is a high grade laminate that goes into the kitchen, so that's great. And then we have this wood-like laminate that is not as high grade. Um, there's, there's definitely areas that we've got some wear and tear on, especially outside of the bathroom, over there by where the laundry room is, where there's just been maybe too much water that has settled onto the laminate and it's starting to flip up and kind of separate on the creases. My guess is we should be able to get through two sets of tenants, which is going to be about three to five years, but I want you to budget that there is going to need to be a replacement of this flooring. Um, in the future, we are gonna to wanna to come through and do like some nice ceramic plank flooring or something that's gonna be a more of a long-term um, flooring for this property. So let's start in our kitchen. I absolutely adore this up front kitchen nook. Right now they have something in place of this window, but a tenant is gonna love putting their breakfast table here, having a front view and also this side view. Being that it's a corner lot, this gives you nice open space feel. So this is actually very, very appealing to tenants. In my original assessment, I had actually said that we needed to put quartz or granite countertops in here. 
I am changing that. I think we can wait on that. That is not something that has to be done right now because this is neutral enough and it's in really good shape. However, I am going to ask that we do an upgraded single basin sink, stainless steel with a gooseneck faucet. That will kind of put a little pop in this kitchen and it will update it without having to spend a lot of money. We are gonna to need to get a new black fridge. We talked about that in my assessment. And we are definitely going to replace this very worn out vent cover and we're gonna put in a space saver microwave. That will also be black. This stove has definitely been used, but I think it will clean up just fine. So we'll leave that stove and we'll leave the dishwasher for now. Beware, both those have been well used. They might be for years just fine, but then we may end up when the tenant first moves in, some kind of a replacement. So we just wanna make sure that we know that those are uh, relatively older, but we think in good condition. Here is our formal dining area, which is really cool because this opens up to this nice big great room. One of the problems we've been having with some of the properties is we have nowhere that people are putting big flat screen TVs. But in this particular floor plan, that flat screen TV can go right here on this wall. It gives you plenty of opportunity to put sofas here or chairs. And what's really cool is whoever's in the kitchen can now participate in whatever fun entertainment's going on. They've got the formal dining room, they've got this living room, and they've also got the kitchen right there. So John tried to pull these down so we can see if these blinds are working, and they're not. So I do want to make a note that John's going to go through and whatever blind is not opening or closing or won't come down, we are going to need to replace with a two and a half inch faux wood white horizontal blind. They look very similar to this. They're just a little bit more crisp in the color as far as white. We do not need to put a vertical blind on this slider. It is a private backyard. We're gonna want that natural light coming in. However, some people want privacy at different times or if they wanna watch TV to black it out. So we're gonna put an antique brass knob across, not knob, but bar across the top. It'll match that light fixture there. And then that way we'll let the tenants put up whatever drapery or window coverings that they want. The backyard is just a perfect, I get that, perfect for a rental. So you come off of the slider and you've got your covered patio. And Selena, show what those gorgeous mountains are. So you can be sitting out here in your patio and you can enjoy that. That is wonderful. The west is going to be here, so you are going to end up with a little bit of western sun. Covered patio is a definite must for that. They've extended this out with them. Um, I'm gonna call them pavers, but we've actually got some extension on the paver. And this tree, which is gonna grow crazy, <laughs> is far enough away from the house that we can continue to let it grow and then we'll just trim whatever is touching the house. Same thing with that one. The neighbor might need us to do some trimming on that tree, but we won't do anything until that is requested because it is definitely hanging over into the neighbor's area. But they may like the shade, they may not care. So if they don't say anything, we won't say anything. But everything else is all rock, and then we do have a real fire pit right here that can be utilized by the tenants. So I love this backyard. Also note the focal point of the fireplace. So I'm not sure if this is real stone or if this is just a prefab that you put up, but I really think it's cool. And I do think that's gonna be memorable when people are looking through properties. They'll actually identify this property as a really cool fireplace. So in some of these models, this is actually a bedroom. I'm glad they didn't make it a bedroom. If they had made this a bedroom, it would make this hallway so narrow and it would really make this house feel super tight. So this being open to be used as a hobby room, an office, um, maybe a kid's nursery area with all the kids just doing their fun stuff. This can be used with however the tenant's lifestyle demands. As we come down the hallway, we have an NV Energy thermostat that we are definitely going to want to replace. Those are controlled by internet, so the minute the internet turns off, it makes it to where we can't control the thermostat and that 
is not good. So we're going to put in just a regular thermostat here. In this bathroom, we have upgraded faucets. We have an upgraded light. We've got the cabinets that have been painted with the accent knobs. All that is great. We have a newer toilet. And then we've got our um, surround with cultured marble, so no grouting that we need to worry about. I do want to point things out like this. This painting is definitely a DIY. It's not bad, but you do have some things like this that are going to shine through. And so just understand that it's not done professionally. If we had done this painting, all of that would have been trimmed off. There's no reason to go in and spend the money to do it now because it actually is good looking. When it gets worn out, that's when we can do the repaint. Okay, so we've got the hall closet here for some extra storage. That's where our clothes and vacuums go. This side of the house is our master bedroom. Master bedroom is a definite good size, so I like it. I like how they've got a shelf up there that can accent things. Notice the high ceilings, which makes this room feel bigger. Selena, right behind you is your walk-in closet, which is ideal for a master bedroom. Carpet is in really good shape, so we will want to professionally clean this, but once it gets cleaned, there should be no problems. As we go into the master bath, they've already got ceramic tile down. Now, when I first analyzed this, I said we needed to paint these. I don't think we do. I actually like it. I think that it's not too crazy. Um, if there is somebody that wants to rent it and can't stand the blue cabinets, we can always come and get them painted. Uh, we do need to adjust this so that it closes correctly, but they did a really good job on this, and it's kind of unique. So I'd say let's leave it, and then um, if we end up with any pushback, we can always deal with that. We do have the um, issue with a shower door. If you want to come around this way, you will see what I'm speaking of. That's the bottom piece of this door. Seller may be getting it ready to be repaired. However, I'm going to have John really look at that and make sure that we don't have any issues with the shower door. But the rest of it, because it's all enclosed in one unit, no grouting issues, there shouldn't be any water problems. And then again, we have a newer toilet, newer faucets. Um, I do need this light bar to be replaced. It's rusted on the bottom and it also has previous paint. So I want that to be freshened up with a new light bar. It'll be similar to that. It'll just not be rusted. And then we will go in through here. Also, one of the things I wanted to point out, the seller has matched all the knobs to a more modern, antique looking knob, which is really cool. So in here, standard bedroom, there'll be some touch-up painting, baseboards. We'll make sure that blind works. Um, closet doors are just your standard flat panels, so nothing, nothing too fancy. In this bedroom, is identical to the one next door. Hi, little guy. And we'll do the same thing. Check the blinds, make sure all that's good. Nice thing about this property. Oh, let's just show this. So they put a cat dog door in here. I hate that. Nobody necessarily likes to, unless they're a cat person, wants to think that there has been a cat in a property because this is where the litter box has lived for a long time. So we want to get rid of any evidence of that. John needs to replace this door. Same kind of door, but without that little insert for the cat to go in and do his business. In here is a true laundry room. Now what is fun about this, which you may not realize is so cool, when you have a house that is this size, normally you are walking from the garage through the laundry room into a hallway and then wherever in the house. It's a huge pain in the butt because if you have clothes on the floor, if you're doing anything, you're like literally almost in the garage. This, you can throw everything in here, close the door, and it's a true laundry room. This will be a huge bonus for a tenant. And then we are going to go ahead and go into the garage. Now, this garage door has seen better days. So we're going to get this all freshly painted, just like we're going to do with all the rest of the doors. So this is going to look nice and fresh. And then in here you have your standard unfinished garage, which doesn't bother me at all. An unfinished garage rents just as fast as a completely finished garage. 
Whatever they leave on shelving is great. Whatever they don't, no big deal. Even if they take the slop sink out, which I doubt that they will, but it's nice that we've got kind of a sink in here if that ends up staying. But three car garage is outstanding in a property this size. You do not find three car garages with the square footage that we have. So people are going to be really, really looking at this and they're gonna know that it's a bonus. Um, other than that, I do not believe that we have anything else that we have to worry about. This home is just really a small, I don't remember if that was locked or not. They may come, oh, they won't come to the garage. So at this point right now, I think the evaluation is this would be an absolutely excellent rental. Uh, do bear in mind, there's going to be a budget that needs to be done so that we can do these floors sometime within the next three to five years. Um, but other than that, this should be a, an outstanding investment property.